<clears throat> Y'all niggas trying to die tonight. That's <laughs> we got two records. That that's what I concluded from these mixed drinks. Y'all niggas trying to die tonight. Who's yeah. trying to die? Y'all niggas trying, trying to die trying to on live like we never lived before. 112. This is 112, right? I think hey, so. In order to live again, why do you have yeah. to? I'm sure he'll tell us later. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, we're right. going to figure that one out. Later at 7.30, why does Flockazoo have two cups? This is, I believe this is a portal to Narnia. But, um, <laughs> and I believe this is your mama's favorite podcast. Ooh. Hey, you know who it is. Word. Yes, it's your boys back for another week. But before we begin, big shout out to our last guest, Miss Just Tawana. Hey. Thank you for blessing us with your presence. Word, Y'all word, go check word. it out, episode 111. <laughs> it's up. Man, I got lose track now. Yeah, man. Been lost track after 70. <laughs> so in the bike. Word. But yes, as my man put so eloquently, it's your mama's favorite podcast, the Physics Study Group. And it's your boy, Jormatic, a.k.a. Lyle Pack Chopper, a.k.a. Black Galifianakis, a.k.a. Way Chappelle, Wavy McGrady, a.k.a. Malcolm Vex. I'll let your boy. <laughs> a.k.a. Word. I'm drinking this white rum right now. Mm. Uh, this orange juice, baby. I'm <laughs> it's <laughs> your boy, Black Dynamite, a.k.a. I Seen Black, a.k.a. Way Bixby, a.k.a. Holy Pucaroaches, a.k.a. Shabby Ranks, a.k.a. Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss arm and nigga in a different note. Swiss arm and nigga. Swiss arm and nigga. Pull up. Swiss, 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 Swiss arm and nigga. No, I'm sorry. Word, word. You know what? Mixtape coming soon. Hard pass, hard pass. Yeah, hard pass, hard pass. You know, it's a thought process. Word. And it's your favorite, low key. Flocka Zulu, a.k.a. Nigga Demas, a.k.a. Sir Black Stallion III, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. No More AK, Stop the Vibe. Rah, rah. <laughs> and with us, as you can see in here, we have a very, very, very special guest, word, dear word. to the heart. Hey. My nigga, the brother. live from the MIA, word. by the way, of Trinidad. Trinidad, yeah, Trinidad no. My nigga, Big up the home what's team, good? big up the home Welcome team. Welcome to the word, physics word, Chum B, a.k.a. Oh. the vigilante, you done. Hey. hey. You see, that's why I oh, like. Word, Prep word. with okay. AKA. Oh, I had to come. I had to come. Hey, yeah, you you saw what you was up against. I feel you. Swiss Army nigga. Saska <laughs> Beach. Word, word. You know what I'm saying? So. But yes, we have a jam-packed episode ready for y'all this week. Thanks for being on, dog. We hope we all impress my you. My pleasure, my pleasure. You know what I'm saying? If oh, we you don't, this episode does impressed. not exist. If Word. we don't impress you, you're pretty me. cocky, bro. He was like, you calling Jam Pack off rip. Yeah, man. You I walk mean, in, you, you today's walk Jam Packed episode of uh, 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 The Physics My dog stepped up the play. He said, What's the difference between Jam Packed and We Have a Lot in Store for You? They both carry heavy weight. Jam right? packed right. sounds like you about to it's watch more some dramatic. niggas tackle each other. I feel other. like it's more dramatic. <laughs> more jam packed is more like, uh. Word. You know, we have a lot of story you're waiting. Like, oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Jam packed is like, we might have to like not do some shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we might have to tell some acts, come at the month. For you know? might not recognize <laughs> us like we're out, outside of our it. element. Word, good way to put it. Good word, 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 word. But anti fizzle. Anti fizzle. Right. <laughs> Anti clockwise. Word. Mm. Anti clockwise. <laughs> you know what? That's the first topic. Anti clockwise. What? Do you say, who says anti clockwise? It's <laughs> clockwise and, and counter clockwise. <laughs> anti usually has a connotation. Okay. Mm. When you say anti, it's just like. Anti, or anti. The complete opposite. Or, you know, anti clockwise is, is when you go back in time. <laughs> 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 Shout out Marty McFly. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one though. Word, yeah, that's a good one it's though. One of them, it's one of them words that ain't really words that, that you grew up hearing like yeah, yeah. Conversate. Conversate. Yeah. 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 So, Oh bro, that's but, which is now a word. Mm. It's in Webster's dictionary. That shit makes my skin itch. Nigga, and you know who you blame, is it really right? Capitalism. Yeah. No, not capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> you blame Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. He yeah. said it once in an interview, yeah. niggas yeah. took and it all oh ass with it. And you my, know Michael Jordan is not the sharpest tool to draw. My, Michael <laughs> Jebediah Jordan. First, <laughs> first of all, if Shakespeare could do it. <laughs> Fuck it, Michael Jordan. Could All right, it. I'll give you that. But he just remixed the. Word. I'll give you word. that. <laughs> you know what they? You know what they said? I was mad as fuck when I was in class. Uh-huh. They were like, you know, Shakespeare made up whatever a hundred words, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, he made up words. 
But when niggas use words you don't recognize, you call it ebonics. And yeah. Then like, oh, fuck, right, right, right. Fuck all right, right. here, my nigga. And I know Yo, you. stay word. Yeah, Yo, wake word. Up. That's what happened when you conversate, nigga. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> and I know mean, you're from Miami. Oh, and your people, you, you from Miami, and your people well, from Trinidad. Oh, sorry, yeah. Broward. My yeah. bad. Yeah. Nine five four. Shout out nine five four. Mm-hmm. Your people yeah, from right. Trinidad. I know you flooded with ebonics. And oh, absolutely. Like, call your mother. <laughs> 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 Anything your mother, boy. boy. Was he seen? Ex- ex- explain, <laughs> explain, huss or horse. Huss. Huss. Hoss. Hoss. I always saw it as a term of endearment, like boss or homeboy. It's like, yeah, it's like, you could use it, like, all right, so it'd be like, you'll say something, my response would be like, yo. Mm. In Trini, (laughs) (laughs) it'd be like, hoss. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. I I mean, you could use it any in which way. It's interchangeable. You know, you know, like, all right, for example, plies. Mm -hmm. Bruh is his go-to. Yes. Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) But... You True. you know where it comes from though, like what's what's the original word that that because you know the, the you, you know in the Caribbean like, there's a there's a word <laughs> and then it transforms into another word to like, be honest like brethren yeah. like that used to be brethren brethren, brethren. Yeah, yeah brethren yeah, yeah, yeah. but or now brother, brethren yeah, yeah. is a whole other word yeah, you know brethren. What I'm I actually don't you know what I, mean? I actually don't I feel like that's where bro came from. I know bro is probably from like brother, brother, yeah, brother, but brethren, it bro, be. like, it's just, I don't it, know. It, they just, I think it just keeps getting word. minimized they as it goes down the line. Word. Soon niggas go stop be like, mm. <laughs> 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 like oh, nigga. are you dying or are you greeting me? Like, word. what the fuck is going That's on? That's from all that anti-clockwise <laughs> shit. Word, nigga. Uh, <laughs> you don't think you niggas be having seizures. You, one nigga be like, mm. Mm. one nigga's going to be like, <laughs> and nothing. I, I feel like I feel like anti clockwise is a cop out window because you just throw anti in there when it's just opposite. Like anti, you know, what? anti whatever. Like what? anti, it just don't sound right. Like you have a you have Against. a aunt named clockwise. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> anti clockwise, and that's your dad joke for the week. Word, <laughs> and you're welcome. We call her that because you're always. I could have did with that. <laughs> <laughs> but something, um. I promise I will bring this back up from last episode. Mm. I didn't get a chance to, because we're talking about language and zebonics and everything. Mm. Personally, I believe that there is a certain way white people and black people talk, mm. but it's not the stereotype we grew up on where mm. if you talk proper, mm. you sound mm. white. That's not what talking white what? is. Oh. Do you believe that? Because oh, yeah. since we're talking yeah, about ebonics and well, all that. They have their own slang. Like, they don't say ham. They say ham. Yeah, Word. like, what do you think? Word. Sandwich. Believe it or not, the first time I heard bro mm-hmm. was from a white guy. A yeah, surfer. I, I, I oh, yeah. didn't bro, believe that or not. Dude, I believe it. That yeah, but exactly. we took it over. Like, yeah. <laughs> like the hood niggas say bro now. Bro, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. All over. Bro-y. Like, gnarly dude, bro. I feel uh, like, I feel like. Wicked. Chill out. Even though Jamaican's wicked, wicked too. Jamaican. Well, I feel like, like too. chill I feel out. Like, that's a chill pill. Chill out. I feel like hood niggas started saying it ironically. And, and then it's the the snap. Yeah. <laughs> Who's up, bro? And then, like, <laughs> like, yeah, like, chill out, bro. Ten years later, bro. What's my bro at, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you can chill. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, but bro. Like, for the longest, we said dog. Everybody yes, was that's so true. dog, my nigga dog. dog. But this is like everything. <laughs> nigga, dog. My nigga dog. <laughs> my nigga who kid? He from Norley. You know my about my nigga, nigga dog. dog. Like, no, you know about that. That amazing nigga. Yes, doggy. But dog, you know do that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. Yeah, yes, dog. yeah. Like I had yeah. to, I had to train myself <laughs> to stop saying dog every Me other yeah. word. Real talk. Yeah, real dog. Talk. Anything dog. Anything dog. 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 Yeah, dog. 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 I'm like, bro. Doggy the dog. Real, <laughs> King, <laughs> real <laughs> Kingstonian <laughs> accent, bro. For real. And then when the, you know, when the white people use our slang, mm. you know, they always say it with a little twang on it, just to. Mm. Just so, just so they know it's not theirs. Word. You know, oh, that's my homie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck and that's up, my God. dog. <laughs> oh, we're getting the bag. That's like, what, shut the that's fuck what up. You call tonal Either say it or don't. Don't be an asshole about it now. That's what you call tonal quotation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Homie. Word. He dog. Try, he's trying to fit in, but he's not trying to get his ass with. Exactly. Yeah. He's, he's like testing the water. Yes. Word. Is it Toby's okay? toting the line, as they say. For real. Can Did I you say Toby's toting the line? I like that. Mm. I've never met a black Toby, so I, mean, I really I automatically think of a white person when you I say haven't. Toby. 
Oh, Other no. than Roots, I mean. No, no, no. no. His True. name wasn't yeah. Toby. Nah, his they name tried was to call Kunta. that nigga Toby. Point and that's why he got whipped. That's why he got whipped. I was just about to say that. Point in case. My name is Kunta. Your bitch ass nigga. Nigga, I'm Kunta. That was so disrespectful. I feel like Kunta was like Toby. That was so disrespectful. I feel like if Damn. if they tried to call that nigga Clive, he would have took it. But then, <laughs> yeah, don't like, call me no goofy like, ass. Like, Toby. Your name is Toby. Yeah. Look, y'all look like, like your name is Toby. I was a I was a chieftain where I came from. Call me no fuck ass Toby. 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 But he would have been like, so what about Clive? <laughs> cool you know, never met Clive? your name, Clive. Like, so right, right, right. I think yeah, Clive. Right. Right. You know, pa- patch me up, bring me inside. I'm Clive. I, I'm cool. Damn, with it. I'm cool with it. Word, Clive. Word. And then Clive. also, also <laughs> that would change the whole narrative of the story. Yeah. For real, <laughs> then Clive's would be. What if that's a piece of the history they didn't tell you, brother? Word. <laughs> Word. Like they strung him up, but he's like, you know what? But how you feel about Clive? And he's like, uh, you know, what? he was like, I'm not that. Well, all right, we can skip all this. I mean, it took fifty lashes, but we here. <laughs> compromise, compromise. Word. That's Huge how we get here. <laughs> oh, that and was break terrible. The fourth wall. Oh. <laughs> And then, and then also, I would, I would, first of all, I would like to apologize to our ancestors. For, yeah, for yeah. That. No, no, let's stop. No, I feel bad too. Word. I know we're, I'm not the only one who feels bad. So let's take word. a second to say, damn, we weren't thinking too much about that joke before we went into it. But since we went there, we did it for you, <laughs> and we haven't forgot forgotten about your sacrifice. We, no, we haven't. No, we just, no, we just no, know that we never this, will. Now our ancestors are like, all right, niggas, y'all, y'all like, relax. Boring, but your, sac- on a podcast your <laughs> sacrifice allowed us to have this free speech. Mm. We love you. Bomb. I like we it. Appreciate Big you. Big up ancestors. And speaking of free speech, mm. hmm. how do you feel? Oh. Hmm. Nah, let me not say that. So everyone's favorite director, writer, wannabe black guy, Mr. Black Exploitation, <laughs> uh, Quentin Tarantino came out with a new movie uh, called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. His name is Quentin. What did I say, Quentin? No, for for some reason. I that's Italian. It, Quentin's Italian. I know what you're gonna say. That's not well. I that's thought you were gonna say it's a black name. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> for some reason, in the last twenty wrong, minutes, though. I thought his name was Trenton. <laughs> Hence Trenton, Trenton, Trenton on the board. Trenton. Hence Trenton. Hence Trenton. That's why. That's like the black version of Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Like he was sitting Where's there that? with the pen cap and all like. Me, Word. I'm the black Word. version of Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> probably, Trenton I, Tarantino. I probably, I probably should have kept that to myself. But <laughs> he said Quentin. He was like, Quint- hey, Trenton. Oh, all right. <laughs> Trenton. Where's that? Trenton. Trenton. It just, Trent or Trenton. Like we're here. Quint- in an Latin or ton. What name? <laughs> Quinn Quinn. No. Yo, what I can't <laughs> wait to turn like for, like over like 45 so I can start fucking up names. Purpose. Oh, purpose. purpose. Oh, purpose. Like on some Ron Swanson shit. <laughs> Word. Billy? <laughs> Word. <laughs> All right, Greg. <laughs> See you later, Scott. <laughs> um, <laughs> so he came up with a new movie called um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And the two top names is Brad Pitt and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. So. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to go see it. It's about some stunt man or blah, blah, whatever. Mm. But blah, 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 blah. in his past movies, he loves the N-word. Mm. I'm just going to go straight to it. Nigga, nigger, mm. nigga, nigga, and Negroid, whatever. Nigger. <laughs> Negroid, Negro. He Word. loves using he loves using the N-word. And I saw someone um, um, online, and I'm not sure how true it is, that he didn't use it as much or at all in this movie. Mm. Because so I feel like he as would, much would, or at all. I feel like you wouldn't need to. It's not about that. Sounds no, but you haven't seen it. It could be black people in there, and he could see the so, thing but, is. But, but here's the my thing, thing is, if there's like a few people, a few black people sprinkled in there, like oh, see, why? you don't know Tarantino. He takes any chance to do it. They really? can be in a scene for 15 minutes. In 13 and a half of those minutes, they say, nigga, I'm not yeah. playing with you. Just, just, some, just some extras, they driving by. Out doing, nigga! Yeah. 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 You, you laughing, man. You fucking laughing. Really? But are you, you a fan of Tarantino? I wouldn't say I'm a fan of Tarantino, but I do enjoy his movies. Nah, he, he's a, he's yeah, a great film. His movies are good. Mm-hmm. Great, actually. Yeah, I, yeah. No, no, real talk, but he always finds a way to slip nigga right on in there, boy. But and I, like it, but it, it was qu- so funny, like when qu- Django came out. But the question is, are you mad at it? No, no, no. I'm not mad at it. But why <laughs> do we? But why do we give him a pass though? Why do we give him a why pass do, for what? 
for yeah. for using it like that. Like, does he, I under okay? I understand he he's a film. No, he writes and directs everything he does. Okay. Mm-hmm. Understand, um, he's a filmmaker, and you need to write things to fit scenes. I fully understand mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you feel like it becomes excessive. Like you mm-hmm. see certain scenes, like. You didn't have to use nigga there. Word. You did, mm. but you didn't. Ha- you, you get what I'm saying? And right, right. and there's evidence of him wanting to be black. Mm. Like he loves our culture. Yeah, he'll never deny it. Yeah, and he, he code switches a lot. Oh yeah, big time. When he's around us, he, there's a little bit of twang mm-hmm. yeah. to his shit. I actually uh, recently saw that. Word. Yeah, like um, but that shit feel, on one of six apart. But yeah. even even like movies like Django, did you feel like nigga was excessive in Django, especially like for the for what it was? I felt like it. It just had like a comic kind of yeah twist to it so it wasn't mm. something that i took offensively in it right so agreed and th- that's why yeah, he's such a, a different yeah he, he could I, play around with it exactly it was, it was exactly. and i mean to be honest man no how fun was it oh, no. No, no, how, no, no, how no, fun no. was it watching jamie fox in that funny ass suit mm-hmm. <laughs> whipping that white dude Word. no okay the slave owner like Neither, you think that was that, the like, so, but, but eyes, i guess bro. i guess the point i'm trying to make is like if you just went into it without like any kind of expectations cinema, or cinema goals or uh premeditated hatred <laughs> or anything like that like you can enjoy it for what it is no and i agree with you i, I wasn't i, I, wasn't I didn't have an issue with it because it's like Hey, Samuel Jackson been fucking with him, so... <laughs> yeah, Samuel Jackson's fucking... Like, he's yeah. in the majority... I think... I feel like Samuel said... He, he, made, he wrote and directed 10, <laughs> 10 films. I think Sam Jackson, like, five of them, right? Or four? <laughs> 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 but, the, like, the thing is... The thing is, it's just, like, I don't know. Just, you know, being a... A woke black person, as they no, put you're right. A hotel. Yeah. No, but I you, would just be you, watching, you a hotel? like... No, no, I'm not a hotel. <laughs> like, you just be watching, like, hey, did you have to say nigga there? Django? Like, it's such a joke. Mm. When he came out with Django, it was like, oh, he's going to back in the, 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 the garbage truck and pour the nigga out. Because yeah. he has reason to. It's a slave movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I believe. Even in Django, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Which and was I, crazy. Word, and, I, and I believe they said nigga that much back then. Oh, absolutely. Oh, no, they said nigga girl. Nick girl. Nick they said girl. they had the hard oh, yeah. oh, yes. every ver- the hard Every hard. variation. Mm-hmm. Then, the, the, anything. <laughs> Nick. Jigaboo, everything. Yeah, Jigaboo, Nigger, oh, Moon Cricket, <laughs> Porch, Porch Monkey. monkey. Hey, oh, can I God. say, <laughs> all of that. can I say, Moon Cricket is the funniest one? Can I say, <laughs> that's that? just hilarious. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Maybe it's because we don't hear that. One you know, it's often. very indicative on how racist motherfuckers are. How Look. racist are you that you have to tap in your t- into your creativity to be racist? That's terrible. You got to come with cricket even mean. Bro, the, because nighttime and I don't know. I don't know. It's something. Moon cricket. It's moon something. Wow. I'm like, sure if you Google the the, the I feel like the lineage, if, if the, the white boy knew how much moon cricket would make me laugh, he wouldn't have made it up. Exactly. <laughs> Cuz everything they invented back then was used to harm, mm-hmm. used to hurt you in some way. Yo. Moon cricket. Oh, look at it up. Black people that come out at night to raise hell and make a lot of noise like <laughs> Holy shit. Moon Cricket's a black like, slave because in the old days. Well, I have a, I have a confession. Oh. Oh, I have no. a confession. Well, here's, here's, a, here's a definition. A moon no. Here's a definition. I am definitely. I was a definitely moon cricket. And hey, look, listen like, to this you know, definition. Bro, there's a lot of Moon Crickets out here. Damn. Damn. It says a Moon Cricket is a black slave. In the old days, because black slaves used to go outside at night and sing to the moon, that's how they got the name Moon Cricket. Both of those make sense. That's, that's, uh, yeah, sense. Both of those make yeah. sense. When we were slavery, we go singing to the Lord, save us. And when we were free, <laughs> Bro. we cussing them crackers and causing a, ruck, a ruckus. <laughs> so both of them make sense. <laughs> Holy shit. But, but, I um, learned something today. But like you said, like, like you said, the thing with Tarantino is he's such a great filmmaker. Like... He could have said nigga a hundred times in each film, and I would have noticed because of the movie's so fucking good. Because here's, yeah. here's the thing. It's a give and take. He was in the movie. Mm-hmm. His, his character, he said nigga, but he also blew up. Yeah, yeah. he does yeah. it on so purpose. It's, so it's like... He does that on purpose. Damn it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does that on purpose. Like, he'll kill himself Almost in like every... Word. Yeah, exactly. And nobody can make blood fly like Tarantino movies. Nah, it's different. Like, mm. It's so... <laughs> like, you get shot... That violent, you that get shot with a Coke 45 or some shit, and, like, his whole back blow out just... 
Yeah, it's like somebody with like super soaker just fucking blood. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like somebody put an M80 what? in a can of tomato paste or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Yo, the violence is exquisite. Yeah. Yes, but the film itself is so good. And the good. sound effects are hilarious too. It's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Niggas get hit by a car. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like Trent. Wow. <laughs> Trenton. 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 Move the cup from him now. Trenton. Where's him? 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 Quinton. Question. Where's him? Where's him? Where's him? Delroy. Where's him? Blocker Zulu, a.k.a. Wem. <laughs> a.k.a. Wem name there. Yo, this nigga is, hey, you got to edit this shit. This nigga hey. is saucy. Hey. Hey. No, <laughs> no I'm, I'm introducing, I'm introducing a new a.k.a. nigga. I'm introducing. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, me no. too. No. I thought you had to no, reboot. No, you thought you thought it was Zulu. Zulu. Y'all ain't catching the joke, No, it's man. because of how you did use man. like, hey. Y'all fucked you know, up. Like Fuck Zulu. I was like, oh, you starting over. <laughs> it, was a, it, was, it was a revelation. Y'all fucked it up, man. Let that man lit. Bro. Let that man cook. Bro. They stay. They stay. Nah, unedited nigga, let that man cook. These niggas stay <laughs> fucking up my punchlines, bro. <laughs> hey, this could be a short. Word. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Word. New, no, it's not. New, no. new, new AKA. Wham name. Because you said. Wham name there, like Wham that. Wham name there, aka Quinn Dunn, aka Wait, Trent Dunn, aka <laughs> Trent, aka Quinn. <laughs> AKA, do you, do you to make the movie there? The man said, the man said, nigga. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 So Linda and Ken Quinton. One big thing about Quentin to the movies I know you appreciate is the music. Absolutely. His scores are like Absolutely. Spotify playlists. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Because like um usually people have like actual um like orchestras. Orchestras, or, yeah. I'm about mm. to say choirs. Orchestras <laughs> that choirs produce too. scores. He was like, he scrolled through his um his fucking iPad or something like, oh, this is go great in this oh, scene. Yeah. No, I feel like it wasn't um Except yeah. when it calls for like the Hateful Eight, you couldn't do that. Word mm. for Hateful Eight needed a score. That was different. For a hundred black coffins. Was that a song Rick Ross had before? Cause I feel no, he made that he song. Made no, it, no, it's, a, it's it. a soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it wasn't no like I'm gonna just pick a song. He had niggas. No, he gets in. a main. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there goes that black. Bro, didn't he have the RZA again. do bro. some shit for Kill Bill or no? Oh, I'm sure he did, yeah. bro. And was, there goes that black influence. I was again. in the theater when when that song started playing. I thought um, I was tripping, bro. I was just like. <laughs> Is that Ross? Word. Is that Ross or Terrence? Did you know, Miami make it? You know, are we I, here, nigga? Yeah, like what? And it yeah. sounded hard. Yes, yeah, bro. Yeah, when yes, come, man. When I, when, what, what I thought <laughs> initially, I was just like, oh shit, somebody like fucked up, played that shit over the audio. Yeah. <laughs> I gave a nigga the ox. Word. Because you don't see that shit often. Bro, and, and two seconds later, I was just like, this is a part of the movie. This is a part of the movie. And I'm listening movie. to the lyrics, and I'm like, this is a part of the movie. I'm scrambling for my phone. Carriage. What, what Word. song is that? Word. <laughs> Word. Word. No, but, a horse carriage. So, I mean, I guess two reasons. One, he makes great films, and two, he makes great films. So I guess that's why yeah. we... And of course, he's... Never, he's never said it maliciously. He's never said the N word maliciously. It's just those little interviews when he tries to like Go, speak right. in Ebonics and right. slang. I'm like, oh, you don't have to, dog. Yeah, you cool. But, but you don't bit. have to do it, shit it for us. It, it makes me cringe. But, I, a bit. Very but he probably has a good personal relationship one on one. Maybe he's not good. Like, not everyone is good on like publicly. Not everyone is good on these okay, I media get you. outlets. Like, he, he might have a good personal relationship or good working relationship with everyone that he works with. And that's maybe he has a genuine way of going about things. No, so no, I feel that. That's it probably shows, why he gets the pass because, like, he's got a, a lot of other people vouching for him. Well known black people in the industry. So, True. do you feel like black actors the pass for him saying nigga in his movies mm -hmm. is valid? Do you feel like it is? No, no, no. Of course, because really? at the end of the day, at the end of the day, he's doing it as a film writer. If he was some random. Guy just saying nigger. Like, obviously, it's okay, different, though? but I mean, he's not the first. 
No, of course, no. Yeah, that's that's another thing. We can't not. condemn he's him like that. He's not the first. Mm. Yeah, because he's, he's he's so grandiose with his films. Mm. Right. But it fits the script. I understand. There are a couple instances where you you're like, that's you know, what I'm saying, just yeah. as a black person. Yeah. But if you're watching as a filmmaker, as a as a, but you go on the block and say fan? nigga two hundred times. Mm. Exactly. If you're watching as a <laughs> film, as a fan of film, you're like, it fits. Word. It has to be there. But then I'll, I'll give him this though. He he has like the finger, on like the pulp because like black people love his movies. Oh, absolutely. Right. Like Pulp Fiction, Django, um, Jackie In- Brown, Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, bro. He had, mm-hmm. first of all, he has couple where white supremacists are just being murdered, bro. Yes, yeah, I'm like yeah. It's and then Glorious nah. Bastards is for it was for Jewish people. Right. He know, he oh he does Word. fan service very well. well on a, on a <laughs> kind of everybody. Yeah, on a nerd tip. This reminds me of a game. Called Mafia Two. Are you a, a, a big gamer? I am a I, huge. You I, did you? Huge gamer. I'm not a gamer, but Actually, I know I, about Mafia. I got you on too. PSN. You do. Word. We, nah. need, we need to run, we need to run that FIFA. Oh yes. If you want it in FIFA, nah. bro. <laughs> TPSG uh, FIFA tournament. <laughs> if you want it in FIFA, word. Word. I got you a couple people it. online that 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 I've been. Mr. I've been I and I Rastafari, you Word. run it again. Word. Word. <laughs> y'all comment y'all PSNs Word. under the physics studies groups page, please. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Please. And for those who want it, it's Barack underscore A underscore Flocka. <laughs> Who wants like it? the drug? Mm-hmm. Gaming it is presidential. Timbo bro. Guns 52. Bomb. I'm sorry? I seem black. Timbo, Timbo Guns? guns nah, I would decline a request from you off real. <laughs> <laughs> like, Timbo <laughs> Guns? Man, excuse me? He's trying to murder oh, me. Trust I'm just trying to have fun. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Word. But you can get the work. Word. The but work. Did you play Mafia 2? I did. Ah, yes. I'm so glad I, I brought this shit up. How did you feel about that game? <sighs> it was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Um, I felt like the storyline could have been a little bit better. It was kind of like a. It reminded me. It was. It, it reminded me of like a. They tried to do like a Assassin's Creed type. Yes. Thing the, yeah, but like. Yeah, it kind of. It, it didn't fit well. Mm. But I feel like. All right, so. Godfather, for example. Mm. We played the Godfather games. Mm. Yeah. Never beat it, but I played it. Right. Mm. But you know the story. Yeah, yeah. That story is untouchable. Mm. Yeah. So game, book, whatever mm. you do, it's great. Mm. Mm. But with Mafia, I just feel like because it was just based off of the video game, they didn't have like a story or anything real back in it. The storyline just oh, kind of gets Oh, I see what you got. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's really... You play the game for the, you know, the, the violence, you know. <laughs> it's like an open world very game? true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's kind of it's kind of like a GTA, but more like the focus, more structured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But the reason I bring that game up is that you play a a, a black ca- um, character mm-hmm. back in it was the sixties, right? 60s. The sixties. Mm. So he's ex military and stuff, and he's gunning down like a bunch of there's there's actually a part in the game where you shoot up like a clan rally. <laughs> why don't I own this game? Yeah, bro, so why don't I own this <laughs> Bro, I, nigga, I got it. Yeah. Oh, we played it after this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try it out. Word. And it was just, it was just so... Do I you get go, called nigger? Yeah. yeah. Damn it! Oh, shit. Yes. We can't have anything! Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. But, no, 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 but you get to immediately <laughs> shoot whoever called you a nigger in the face with a shotgun. Okay, He's right. Oh, that's good. so satisfying. Okay. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> like, you, you'll be walking in the streets. And like a random cop would be like, get up the street, boy, and you just run up on them and blast them. And <laughs> it's so, Retribution, it's so, bitch. Word. They need to bring that game back. They need to bring that shit Worst in case VR. scenario, you just revive. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. The cop, though. Ooh. Exactly. I'm, 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 I'm a big proponent of like gunning down some zeros and ones. For the same <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, let off some stress. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> word. Gunning down some zeros in <laughs> word, you I it. hope everyone got that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They, did. they did. It was really didn't. But um <laughs> But yeah, I mean, like you said, Tarantino's never done it maliciously. He's never went on a rant like mm-hmm. Mel Gibson or nothing like that. So Oh yeah, he's getting a lot of shit for Apocalypto, especially now. 
Still? Yeah, really? No, no, I'm talking yeah. about the whole I hope you get raped by a pack of niggas. That shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about that shit. <laughs> Remember. Yeah, Tarantino never had no shit like that. So it was like, all right, you, you good, man. A pack of niggas. A pack you never heard that shit? Wow. I did. Oh. Yeah, I did. I no, no, he was, he was wilding. When Same was nigga that? who made Passion of the Christ. Yeah. Wilding. <laughs> I mean, hey, he's yeah. the one that said that. It makes sense. Yeah. To who? Um, I think. His daughter. What? All right, we're, we're gonna oh, we're gonna revisit like, it later. It's crazy. That's crazy. It's insane. She was it, going it, around. It really is insane. Word. And it, it make it makes sense because a lot of these MAGA people are, you know, white evangelicals. Yeah. Word. And speaking yeah. of, and speaking of MAGA folks, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not the skinny ones. Word. They yeah, MAGA. MAGA. Are we talking about make America? Trump is my president. <laughs> I'm I'm from MAGA. I'm from somewhere fucking random. I'm from Alabaskas, Texas. <laughs> Alabaskas. <laughs> they always go a weird city, and they're always the third or fourth of their name. Oh yeah, Cornelius Cletus McKenzie the fifth. <laughs> and I'm from Snapping Alligator Turtle, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And you know we can't really be scared or offended because they don't live in a pod. Podcast? Is that an alien? Is what we talking about? A pod, pod who? Word. My pod daddy made know. this shack. Six to seven years ago. <laughs> my name is Cletus Timothy the Third, and this is my nephew's son, Cletus Timothy. No, <laughs> you ain't right, bro. You ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> my nephew's son. Oh shit. But I I saw some shit the other day. These motherfuckers think they sick. Oh, what they did? What, what they, they did? Do? They're trying to come out with these new MAGA hats. MAGA. 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 <laughs> MAGA. See, see, not MAGA. Jamaican slang for skinny. <laughs> see, MAGA is just too close Word. to uh, nigga. Tomato, tomato, Trenton, Quentin. Word. MAGA. <laughs> MAGA. MAGA. But yes, these MAGA hats. Mm-hmm. Now I'm thinking you're saying they're MAGA. coming. They're coming out with these new hats, like th- that's like discreet. Like it, and it, they they look a little bit more fashionable. They like, have like one that have like a little forty five. On the side hmm. for the forty fifth president. Oh god! Yes. Word. And hmm. there's there's one that has like MAGA written in like hmm. cursive, and it's real small, so you don't see it. So instead of MAGA, it's like MAGA. Word. Word. But you still represent the it's same like, shit over there. Right. Shit. <laughs> word, <I'm> MAGA. Like, <laughs> yeah. how, MAGA. How, I mean, how, what's the point of hiding that you support? Exactly. Right. Yeah. If, you're, if your ideology is so true, you know what I'm saying? It's, oh, we're bullied for our beliefs because your beliefs are fucked up. <laughs> you know <what> Absolutely. <laughs> you never see no. Like, even the Black Lives Matter movement, dog, them shit was blatant. They say, fuck, fuck these yeah. crackers. Yeah. <laughs> fuck real. the police. Hashtag. Black Lives Matter. small cursive words. words. Nothing. You knew exactly. Glam. Ain't no F12. <laughs> words. <laughs> yeah, right. None of that. <laughs> Niggas had bold. You white folks is trash. <laughs> <laughs> no shame. <laughs> no. <laughs> now we got MAGA hats. MAGA. Yeah, but that just, that just shows... Um, the uh wow, what am I trying to say? Nothing. For a big blank. That it just shows, shows us how fucked up their <laughs> movement is. Mm-hmm. That they have to hide it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they come up with cold words for it. Yeah, all absolutely. The time. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Where is, nah, is, is, I think it's just that white people like catchphrases. Nah, dog. It's the same reason why the same reason they say totes. The same reason the, Totes my goats. <laughs> word. Do you want my social instead of my social word. security number? And they say the use. Um, the the use. The use. Word. The use. Word. Like they just want to shorten everything. It's so cute to them. Nah, they just like they, cute they, shit. They, they oh, they, they like, want to shorten? They don't want to work for something? <laughs> they don't want to do something <laughs> they, fully. They like small word. dogs. What, they a, like, what, a, what a shocker. <laughs> what a shocker. Nah, nah, nah. They just be hiding shit, fusing some other shit, dog. You know the year. The NR- NRA was founded? No. Same year the KKK, KKK was, was disbanded. Who, I don't know. Coincidence, maybe. I don't know. You're wow. shaking the table. Nah. <laughs> nah. But I mean Conspiracy. Like at the end of the day, it's just it's it's just like it just proves our point about them. Nice. Like if you're proud of what you're doing, there's no problem like this. This way you make it, make America great again. Have you gotta mm-hmm. be discreet and just stylish? You're like fuck out Cause here, they know they Cause they know they're doing something jump, wrong. They be in the wrong neighborhood, something man. Wrong. They trying to use code so they they see each other without other people seeing them. Right. Yeah, like which is how the nah, racism <laughs> news is flash like is oh, twenty nineteen for them to see each other. And you know what I mean? Absolutely. Well, oh, I see you hating on the skin, racism. Man. Is just that they're white. Yeah. Yeah. Can't really argue. <laughs> <laughs> You can't really argue that one. 
It's like when even when you see like the Blue Lives Matter flag, like, uh, come on, that man. one kills me. And like on, it, it's and Dude. like they said it, like they created it as if it's gonna be like a, um, like I have the same power as Black Lives Matter. Mm-hmm. Like people say, <coughs> I was born, I was born black. You weren't born a cop. Right. Right. Yeah, but you why can, you, you can drop that badge immediately. You know what I'm saying? I can't drop my blackness. I. Mm, but why do you have to have a counter movement? Right. and Or, oh, or more so like you're... No, no. You're probably going to say what you're, I'm going to say. You're piggybacking ahead. off of someone Yeah, that's all. Like, you're just trying to diminish their, their, movement. Yeah, their movement. It definitely yeah. dilutes it. All it lives matter. It, you know, mm. I really want to know how like the black officers feel about that. There's black Are, officers like, that are about it. That that are about, that's, about that support blue lives. blue lives matter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, yeah. It's it's very like. <sighs> Did y'all see that thing the other day where like a a black sheriff deputy was in an IRS office? And yeah, and he got they said, um security guard said, pulled the phone on him. Yeah, the, the, really? the video is he's walking through a door and like he just walks regularly, and the security guard's walking up behind him with his pistol drawn. Right. What else does he need to wear? Right. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> he was wearing his uniform. He was, he was, he was wearing a uniform. He, was, oh he had a shade. He could have looked like anything other than a cop. So he came, like he came and he talked to Buddy, like <clears> and Buddy's like, da, 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 da. I don't know, like you don't hear the audio. Mm-hmm. And he turns around to walk out to walk out, and when he turns around, that's when Buddy pulls the gun and like behind him with walks the, behind him. Like he didn't a even, cop. Like he didn't even realize the gun was pulled on him. Like till like he was like, what, what is security guard? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Like did that, anything that's, else develop from that? Um, not that I know. I hope he, he got, got fired. fired. Oh, he did get yeah, fired. Good. Man. And that's just more proof that they all they see is color. All he saw was a black guy. He wasn't worried about what he was wearing mm-hmm. and a pistol. On. Cuffs, they have all this shit showing. Mm. You see, you know, you see a cop, yeah. you see the knights, the, the night stick, the, the cuffs, and a black man impersonating yeah. an officer mm. <laughs> in but my even, store. I have even my guns that's Joe Barry, Paul Blart, mm. mall cop. On even it. if that's the case, you're not judge, jury, executioner, you're a security guard in the condo you live in with a gun. Call somebody, <laughs> but you know, they don't feel like that. That's why Trayvon Martin is dead. You know, stuff like that really irritates me, like yeah. to a whole new level. Like there was, a, you saw the incident when um, it was a dude. He was at his house in his yard. Mm, his oh garage. yeah, the cops walked. He, I, don't, I don't even think he was. He was taking in groceries or something like yeah. that. The security guard for that neighborhood pulled up to him with a freaking pump. Oh God! And it's like, what are you doing here? You're so and so. And then the cops came in like, oh, you're so-and-so. We need to talk to you over here. He's like, I'm not leaving my yard. Like, No, that's you? how you get clapped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yo, that. They, yo, just seeing stuff like that, that, that makes my skin yeah, crawl. And, they, skin crawl. They do and it, was, it, was a long, it was a long ordeal, too. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it was several minutes, and he was yelling at them, and they were trying, his people were trying to calm yeah, him down. Yeah, he's like, no, and I'm not And he's like, no, down. this is my yard. He's like, just because I'm black, you trying to say that I'm this person and I'm not this person. Yeah. And they're calling him a different name. Yeah. He's like, that's not my name. <laughs> yeah, and then they're like, what's your name? He's like, I'm not telling you my name. <laughs> yeah, and then he, I think they finally said his name, and then they still tried to call him the other name. They were mm. like, yo, you're such and such. He's like, no, what the fuck is wrong with you? I yeah, live yeah, here. Yeah, he's, he's wow. like, yeah. them have There's certain tricks that they use to yeah. do stuff to you, dog. Because I saw another video where a dude came, um, like a cop ran up on a dude and he automatically just put his hands out the window. And the cop kept pulled his gun and kept yelling at him to turn off the car. He's like, no, I'm not, I'm not. Oh yeah, I'm yeah, not, yeah. I'm not moving my hands from here. Yeah, so like that, the gas station. Word, that's some shit they do. They ask you for some shit, mm-hmm. and when your hand move, especially like they say so, they saw something. Word, they be like, turn off the engine. Why? Huh? The guy said he had the cop said he had a gun. It's like, yo, you see my hand? Yeah, word, word, word. word. Oh yeah, seat. he yelled. Uh, he has a gun. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, word. Like, yeah, why it's disgusting, do, man. Why would you do some shit? He yelled. He had a gun, but the gun it. was in the back seat with his hands out the window, mm. like. Stuff like that is just wicked. It's crazy. Or, yeah, no, it's. It, I don't think the cop even saw that. Like he just he yelled that so that when the the kid reached to turn his engine off, he could just shoot. They have a reason right. to clap him. Mm-hmm. And it's really disgusting. And this is this is exactly what those MAGA people support. Oh, you! It's not every cop. It's not blah 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 da da da. But, but if you're, <clears throat> let's say it's not every cop. If you're a cop and you see this stuff going on, you don't do anything, you're a part of the problem. Mm-hmm. You're just as bad as the people doing it. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to hear none of that shit. Word. But I really, so like, 
I don't even think there's much that they could do, like other than speak out. Like them speaking out is gonna do what? Like them get them fired. Exactly. Like, are you willing to sacrifice your job for your people? Shit. Not, if you kids, not if you got a bunch of kids. Question to, of the day. Not if you got a bunch of kids to feed. This is all you know. You a veteran. You come back. This is, you know. Yeah, you guys you, well, no. Situations. There's circumstances. Not there's a whole not judge anymore. Whole whole Word, but, you know, there's athletes willing to put their um, careers on the line. Yep. 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 Shout, Shout out, out to mm. CK, my nigga Kaepernick. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I'm so glad he got paid. Fucking crackers, man. Mm-hmm. You can put that on record. I second that. Right. <laughs> right. That man put his career up, put his money up. For real. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, and it's not like he was, you know, he's a slack. He just came from a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nobody just goes to Super Bowls. Bro, <laughs> what, what, what was crazy about that is like, they really tried to sell that it was because of his football. Yeah. And everybody was, was like, oh, he's da 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 da. I'm like, do you know how? Who, like, do you know how who can Nathan, you see? Look at this, and then just like muddy the water just based on your your prejudice. It's wild. Yeah. But it's because they don't want the truth revealed. They mm-hmm. you know they try to divert and throw other things in there. Mm-hmm. You know Nathan Peterman. I don't want to stay on the NFL top two. You know Nathan Peterman. Peterman is. He plays quarterback for the Raiders. He used to play for the Bills, mm-hmm. and he is so bad. Mm-hmm. There's a meme going around about him. Mm. Where they would like purposely compare him to better quarterbacks and say he's better. He's that bad. Mm. Anytime his 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 stats are just ridiculous. Mm. But then Kaepernick's out of a job, mm. and of course Nathan Peterman's white. Mm. I don't think you know a black Nathan Peterman. But anyway, that's besides the point. I, it, that, that's just more evidence of you know the black ball that was going on with the black balling that was going on with him. Mm-hmm. I know what about the skill wasn't that? <laughs> so, no. Nah. Jenkins is pretty biracial. I know this. I haven't Jenkins. seen that. Yeah, I'm shocked. I don't think I, I met a white that. person with a last name. I've that. seen. I don't you made it, met him, but mm. I remember when I met a white Jerome. That shit blew my mind. That's <laughs> wild. <laughs> no, if I say Timothy Tyrone was his name, his name was Tyrone. Jenkins. Impossible. Was, don't I exist. guarantee you, bro. He doesn't exist. He's adopted. I, I, made, I made his. He's adopted. I, I saw his license. He's adopted. His white name man. is Justin. That you know what? That was my first thought though. Cat's I was like, I, I, I looked at his ID and I was like, I kind of like smirked a little. I was like, here you go, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised. like, this nigga adopted. <laughs> I mean, Ty- this man adopted. <laughs> Tyrone Jenkins. I hear Tyrone mm-hmm. Jenkins. I told her I was supposed to see Samuel Jackson. <laughs> he got a very thick well, mustache. <laughs> of course. What if his and mom has a whole story as to the reason why his name is? She probably lost Tyrone. a bet. <laughs> what if he's actually just feel, half black and he I just don't like, look at it? I feel like if you're a white person, your last name is Johnson Jenkins. You sitting on some old Jones. slave money. That yeah. too. <laughs> Washington. You know your family owns some people. Franklin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, your last name Johnson. Oh, you. you know have you mean? heard about people with the last name Hennessy? Not I've because seen. of Hennessy. Cardi B's sister's name Hennessy, isn't she? I think there's some Hennessy in the South, South that like got bread and shit. Really? I heard mm. of that. Is it off the lick? That's just what I've heard word of mouth, so I'm not saying it's true. <laughs> yeah, we don't put <laughs> we research facts on the physics study group. We don't do word of mouth. <laughs> but I'm just saying about what I heard. Word. Y'all can bleep out that name word. when you but get this back. <laughs> throw out all those Johnsons and Washingtons and Franklins. It's about my nigga Jumpy right now. Hey. That's the name we worry about right now. Hello. Once again. Thank you for being on, man. My pleasure. Been a great guest so pleasure. far. Word. Where does the name Jumby come from? Well, it's Trini. We use it mostly in Trini, but it's really derived from like Africa. So like the name, the full name would be Moko Jumby. The Moko Jumby is like a tall spirit that's set to watch over like the village in mm-hmm. Africa. And I'm six foot four, so <laughs> 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 makes sense. But um, other than that, you know, it's just it's, it's a spirit. You know, mostly used for like haunting people. So like, if you're in Trinidad or Pete, you talk to a team like, you know, why you jumpy in me, dog? No. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Uh, okay, but, um, okay. So you haunt people? <laughs> Here for the haunting. I'm sure. Like, Maybe he only haunts the people that Maybe. deserve it. Yeah. 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 Karma haunts. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. so my, sorry. No, no, you good, 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 only good. haunts the wicked. <laughs> so jumpy. Not the wicked. Yeah. Tell the people who you are. What do you do? What's your claim to fame? All right. So right now, my claim to fame is being on the physics study group. Hey, shout out <laughs> TBSG, baby. Right. But now I'm, I'm 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 a DJ, okay. up and coming producer here mm-hmm. in the Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Florida 
mm. in the area in the Palm oh, Beaches. <laughs> 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 and a bona fide um, j- disc jockey too. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, yeah, like Mister Epwe Epwe, all of that. <laughs> working on it, working on it every day, every day. On Be on the lookout for me. I have Afro B and Vibes Two coming out. Side A and B. Mm. Be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout here. for that. Yeah. So about right. sides A and B. Let's just take a moment. Yeah. Had to for real. Had to Shout out to the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I had to do it that way. I had to do it that way. There was no other way for me to do it because just the flow and the vibe. I'm real big on like mixing sounds and how like that's why I rate like EDM DJs because I mean there ain't no words. But mm-hmm. the way they blend and they mesh sounds together, and right. I mean, of course, turntable is like Jazzy Jeff being the mm. one oh, for me, mm. like yeah. him, and even speech. Puffy, like DJ Puffy. That yo, Puffy is nice with it. His cuts are clean. Scratch yeah. Bastard, yo, shout out to all of them. Scratch mm. Bastard, yo, yeah. my nigga. Yo. See, <laughs> you, you, you see what I like? You're a student of the game. See, mm-hmm. that's, that's why you're gonna be shit. successful. Yeah. You're not just out here dilly dallying. Yeah. See, that's, see, that's what my thing. Because there's a lot of people out here calling them DJs. Yeah. Mm-hmm, right. They right. call themselves DJs. And I, I compare it to, to playing guitar. I feel like a lot of people can pick up a guitar and play it, but there's very few people that can master it and be like... A guitarist. A guitarist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's their claim to fame. Yeah, it's, like, it's, oh, it's, you play the guitar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. to me, it was like, when you say a DJ, and I feel like a lot of times, this is my gripe with a lot of DJs now. Mm-hmm. You go out and it's like you hear the same mix. Mm-hmm. Right. Every time. Every time. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's like I, I felt like DJs didn't want to take risks. No. Um, and, and didn't want to like try. I feel like they, they played it safe. Right. Yeah. Every time. Instead of well, mixing I mean, and blending in. All right. So depending on like the party, the promoter, like there's a lot of things that like go into that actually. Mm. So like in this South Florida scene, you know, playing it safe is more for the up and coming DJs or the DJs who just don't really do it because they actually like. At first, let me just say, let me not use the term DJ because a lot of actual turntablists and DJs will get upset mm. hearing that. These mm. are selectors. Mm. Ah, got you. So, like, there's mm. a lot of selectors who, you know, who step out in parties and they play the same thing because, you know, it's a quick check or, as mm. you know, it's just they're playing it safe because they know the crowd is only going to react a certain way, which. Mm. I can't lie. I'm definitely guilty of doing that certain times. Mm. Mm. But it's because, you know, the Miami crowd is just, it's Florida Thick crowd is just, it's, you got to be built different. Yeah. You know, like, you got to be built different. Those, you know, one of my boys, shout out to Blink the Link. Yo, um, shout out to Blink. He was like, yo, like, these, these, this, any, any DJ who comes out of South Florida, I will put them up against anybody in the world. Because yeah. the market down here is just ridiculous. Like, yeah. you have to be able to juggle so many different songs and mm. learn so many different vibes. Like, it's, mm. it, and it's true. So rich. It's so rich. Right. But yeah, it's a melting pot. That's the craziest thing about it. Mm. This place with so many people and so many different cultures, but when you go out, you only hear a certain type of thing right. every time. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's right? weird. It's, weird. it's, it's weird. weird. It's it's weird. Like that one or two songs that they know are gonna hit yeah. with a certain demographic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I got this. I, I got the um. I got this for my Haitian <coughs> crowd. I got this for my, mm-hmm. my Hispanic folks. I got this for the. You know what I mean? Yeah, but then, like those in between songs where you kind of you have to be creative because mm-hmm. those in between songs when you get to those hits you gotta kind of make sure the crowd's still the engaged. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, man. Because they can easily hear their song and stop moving until they hear another big song. I've and seen it. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah, you're right because I feel like the 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 crowd down here don't really appreciate music. Music. Mm-hmm. They appreciate Agreed. hype. The vibe, yeah, the so vibe, the vibe. So it's like it I call be it the... shout out DJs. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, skip to the next song real quick. And... But I wouldn't even I, like even that. I, I honestly can't even blame the DJs for that. Like, there's mm-hmm. no way I could put the blame on them for that because it's you a as a DJ, like energy is what you thrive off of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whether if it's two people, ten people. 5,000 people, it doesn't matter. When you have energy, you feel great. Mm. So if you as a DJ not getting energy from nobody or nothing, mm. you got to stick to what you know. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I can understand that because that's what keeps, you know, keeps the vibe right. When right. you feel the energy and y'all on the same plane and everything. Now, 
usually you don't see a lot of people that like jump into the DJ ism as I would say as a career, <laughs> yeah. but like what no ism and schism. <laughs> <laughs> the DJing. Yeah. There you go. DJing. Yeah. Um what what like brought you to it? Because you know, there's many paths in music, writing, rapping, right. production, record label. What brought you specifically to being the DJ? So the DJ route I actually didn't take until like twenty thirteen. And what'd you do before that? Before that I was a football player. Mm -hmm. ah, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but music has always been a part of my life, like the greatest part of my life. Like even in like middle school, like I used to have like the older kids mm -hmm. used to be like, Yo, yo, Tim, let me let me let me hold your 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 iPod for, for lunch. I'll pay you, you know, I'll pay you yeah. five, I'll pay you three dollars. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I spent hours on LimeWire. Hours ripping all my sisters. Shout CDs. out LimeWire. Like, yeah, yo, man. I used to spend hours on that shit. So that was a shit, people man. used to be like, yo, this nigga's iPod has everything. <laughs> <laughs> like everything. Like I'm talking about I'm walking like in between classes, dudes are like, yo, 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 you got your iPod today? Mm -hmm. I'm like <laughs> Josh already got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's already out, baby. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, gotta, you gotta make a reservation. Yeah, you feel me? So I used to like that and sell a candy. Shit. Like that was, you know, that's one of you the You sold like, candy too? Absolutely. Yeah. Wait, quick word. Absolutely. No, no, word, word. Absolutely. Yo, so no taxes. No tax. Yo. Shout out BJ's. Sam's Club. Yo, BJ Sam's Club, forget about it. <laughs> Literal bricks. It was mm -hmm. a cop bricks and <laughs> distribute them to school. Yo, for real. In the book. Crazy. Bag. Hell yeah. But yeah, nah, but so but getting to that DJ lane, I mean, I've always been a fan of music. So how I feel when I listen to new music or just music that makes me feel good, I'm like, damn, somebody got to hear this. Mm. So when I got to college, I was doing that with mostly like, I went to college in Daytona. Oh, uh, God. Before I transferred to FIU. I went to Bethune. Mm. So like mm. being in the dorm room with all the football players and stuff, like just spinning like all the music from up there. Mm -hmm. And then I would mix in like, you know, soca, I would mix in dance. I'd be like, damn, bro, what that is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what that is? What the fuck you listening to? Cha cha, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Hey, hey. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> nigga <said> cha -cha. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, but definitely like just, just, just that route right there. And then coming down to Miami, you know, really pushed me to like kind of do that within the college scene. So, I was on e board for CSA. Shout out CSA. Big F shout out CSA. CSA. F I U CSA. Yeah, F I U CSA. Specific colleagues. Get out of here, colleague. F I U CSA. Oh, I, <laughs> I'm an unofficial F member. He's an unofficial. Ah, F I U CSA. We brought him in. We brought him in. We two, let him two, come. Two former, <laughs> e <-board. laughs> two former e board members. Sit next to each other. Kawiki Nick. Three. I feel like. Oh, you was on e board too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Once upon a time. Well, I'm no. I wasn't F I U e board. Oh, Broward, two former <laughs> 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 no, 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 you got you got you got three Shout former out college, man. E I was unofficial at FIU e boy. <laughs> but no, True, but that's, like, that's most official. Yeah. <laughs> In the Caribbean, the unofficial FIU CSA is just unmatched all around. Connection yeah. wise, it's just, up. Just, it's wicked. Yeah. I, feel like, linked. I feel like people have pressed themselves trying to match it. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, bro, don't put yourself in harm's way. <laughs> often, often imitated, never duplicated. Never there we go. We certainly were in harm's way. You know what I'm saying? Every a step lot of, A lot of niggas didn't, didn't graduate on time, including myself. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But we got through. <laughs> we got through. <laughs> nah, we some, of it, the, some of the wildest parties I've ever been to in my life. Was I don't know what you're talking about. So, <laughs> we are going to continue. There were. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, shout out if I used to say because like, um, they are the ones who really put me in the public eye. So mm -hmm. I was like DJing, yeah, like, that, that's what I mentioned, and yeah. stuff like that. But like, put me out in front of people. So my boy John, shout out Beige Warrior, Johnny Boy, <laughs> shout out. Or, he was like, "Yo, I got a surprise for you. This is like my first time on eboard, and I'm getting to know everybody." Now he knows me. Like early on, like while I was spinning, I was spinning like soca, Afro beats, and dancehall mainly. Mm. And he was like, yo, I got a surprise for you. 
when we throw um climax. I'm thinking like he got a bottle oh, or some yeah, shit. From yeah. nice. I'm thinking he got like you know what I mean. He's like nah. Look at the fly. What does that say? Oh, <laughs> that's how you dropped it on you. Oh, wow. Oh. Up to this point, I never used club equipment. I never seen a CDJ in real life. Like, wow. oh, shit. So we ended up going to Nikosi Shout house. Out Shout out Nikosi. Wait, we talking about Nikosi Art. Nikosi Art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out DJ Nikosi. Well, formerly DJ Nikosi. Formerly known as DJ Nikosi. That's a big publisher now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put some respect on his name. That's what's up. That's what's up. Nikosi Art. But, um,. Yeah, we went. We ended up going to his house the night before. Mm. Um, Inferno was it Inferno or Climax, one of them. Mm. And I'm sitting there struggling, like, yo, what is this? <laughs> like, God, he's like, yo, you just gotta feel it, dog. Just feel it. I'm like, all right. Well, I guess we'll just see tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually ended up going on and doing pretty decent. I got a lot of good feedback, so that that's you know, that boosted my confidence. Yeah, yeah. That's what's know, up. That's what's up. From there, but mm-hmm. yeah, that I mean, just I, I'm a big energy person. Like out in public, when y'all see me, I probably won't talk much, um, just because I'm real observant. But um, I'm big on energy. So when I go out, when I'm with my boys, or just like even here, like the energy's right so I could talk and I could feel like, you know, I'm at home. So energy in the club, I feel like I can provide that energy like no other. And you know, mm-hmm. a lot of DJs feel that way, as mm-hmm. they should, because you know, everybody, it's an art, it's an art yeah, to it. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of respect, you know, Dutty Dex, Dream Team, mm-hmm. Yeah, big mm-hmm. shout out, big cool shout out. That's some of the best out there. Celestial right. Nile, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like yeah. Eccentrics. Savy, Eccentrics. Eccentrics. Yeah. I love that shit. <laughs> oh, he has my favorite tag, everybody. <laughs> Yo, for real, that shit is addictive. Mm-hmm. Like, you could be walking down the street in Wimbledon and you heard that shit, you're running. <laughs> you're like, like where the party at? Oh, there, Gramps, we out. Yeah. <laughs> Over there? Where, I remember Dutch Dex used to um, DJ a lot of, um, of the shows I used to perform at. Oh, for real? Uh, yeah, with stand up. Yeah, that's oh, all. Wow. Yeah. yeah, small world. Wait, yeah. I have a similar story with, st- uh, with stand up. Somebody just signed me up. It was like, hey, we're going to a show. You performing. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this, yo, his fake quotes of the day used to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, the I'm fake deep quotes? Fake deep I'm going to get back on it. No, the people want them. I have to on personally. I'm going to get back on it. <laughs> personally. Are we going to get back on the stand up? Oh. I'm just waiting for you to sign me a random. Oh. <laughs> oh. So you were telling us earlier, um, as I put it, you going back to the boom bap. Ooh. No, well, no, well that's how I put it. That's how I, no, no, that's back, how I put it. Boom bap. Back, 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 back to the foundation. My dog said he's going <laughs> back <laughs> to the vinyl. Yeah, the man. wax. The wax. wax. My man is going Wax get, on, wax mother. Wax on. on. The Technics, on. the new the marks, wax. the... Whatever the fuck yes, brand yes, he choosing, yes. and he gonna turn. One it of in. the biggest <laughs> journeys I've taken thus far in like just being a DJ because I was heavy on controller vibes, like mm. Pioneer SZ. Mm. You know, just that 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 was my go to. Like I would like I would step out in like parties and wouldn't feel comfortable with just you know working with regular equipment. I would have to bring my own. So mm-hmm. now, like standing with the standalone mixer and stuff like that, and actually getting vinyl, just kind of getting back to the basics, mm-hmm. I feel like just provides a whole different sound and a unique way to just kind of bring your own touch to the party element. Because I, I mean, if you go to Winwood, that's what they use. Mm. So that's why the vibe is always like so just nice, authentic, mm-hmm. raw. Mm-hmm. So I want to be able to bring that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot, and you know, a lot of DJs out here actually do use turntables. It's just easier to I use, see. yeah, controllers and stuff like that because it's digital, easy, not yeah. as heavy. Yeah, I can imagine yeah. like you lugging around a damn vinyl player. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, I thought all the stuff in Wilbur was straight um, control. I didn't know they was using vinyl. That's news to me. Uh, yeah, I've seen, I've seen I mean, what? what, what yeah, like tavern? one or two. Like usually, if I see them, it's like a. Like a low key party, not a lot of people. They are usually at. have both, so they have the mixer and then they have either vinyl or or the CDJs. CDJs. Okay. A lot of places usually just stick with just the CDJs because vinyls are expensive, especially if they break. Mm-hmm. People they usually ask people to bring their own needles. Right. If, they, uh. if they provide needles, <laughs> they want you to pay for it. If it breaks, like it's just got you, mm. got you. But then Phase came out with the digital needles, which is what I have. So mm. that job easier. 
Wait. Have y'all seen that shit? <laughs> digital, no, no. I saw the... A digital needle. I sent that to Does you. It sound the jazzy, DJ Jazzy Jazzy. No, that shit's yeah. crazy. To me, it doesn't. It's so insane. Because it's, it's like a little weight you put on it, right? It's not... Yeah, it's like a little... Kinda. Like a remote, like this big. But but like you but you know big. what? I, I appreciate that little scratchy sound. That was yeah. Oh, before, yeah. Before the song played. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, needle, you know, I, I, this surface. nigga, this nigga be smoking his cigars <laughs> recliner, yeah, with the newspaper with his bathroom. <laughs> Yo, I used to listen with, to vinyl with, with, with one of them um those big drum, <laughs> oh yeah, those big <laughs> drum speakers. Catch <laughs> 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 my Chardonnay. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> so. You covered. Oh, sorry, we covered towards the end of the episode. But before we go, what's in store for Jumby? What's in store for G Jumby? What will you got lying in the future that you can tell us about? Okay, right. let's just a surprise. Don't First tell of all, us. we gotta have you back on, dog, because I feel like as soon as we got to, you know what I'm saying, the talking, juicy part. Yeah, where, 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 yeah, yeah. Death, yeah I know where. where. I'm just, man, I'm, I'm, I'm right here. Just hit me up. Oh, of course. Oh. But Jumbie what I two. can say that's in store for Jumbie is definitely Afro B and Vibes Volume 2, mm-hmm. Part A and B. Um, Miami Carnival, for sure, I'll be on the road with the Junction. Hey. Um, and don't you have an Afro Beats party you do? Oh, yes. Afro Beats Day party, September 1st. Be there. I will be there providing the most vibes. Hey. <laughs> September 1st. <laughs> Nothing yeah. more, nothing less. Nothing Word. more, nothing less. And Word I also have game. somebody that I'm working with out in Dubai. Goes by the name of the Ecom Boy. Shout out the International Kingdom of Money. Wow. It's um, hey. not heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Be on the lookout for his works. We got something planned for y'all too. So, what's up? Yeah. Hey, of course, we vibes. definitely be on the lookout, bro. And thank you for being on, homie. Yeah, appreciate I appreciate you five have me. Appreciate the interview and everything. We appreciate your yes, appreciation no, no for problem. music no way, no way, and his no no authenticity. No a very authentic DJ. Y'all need to go check him out mm. whenever he DJing anywhere. This man could DJ Afro beats. He could DJ dancehall, reggae, hip hop, mm. new and old. Word, word. Trust me, and I'm, I'm saying top it forty EDM, word. CDM, you you Afro this, house. Boom. You see this man on the Afro, Afro house. house, Afro house, bro. You see this man on the flyer. You need to slide, slide. Absolutely, yeah, don't, don't, don't question it. Don't question it. Exactly. Buy, buy, ends, buy you and your side check a ticket. It's gonna be good. Easily. Oh Jesus, easy. If, if you <laughs> gonna get away, and with that. Don't spend any money on your side. Word. Oh, Oh. and before we go, where can they find you on social media? You can find me at underscore J-U-M-B-E-E underscore. Just like that. Word. (laughs) Jumbi. Shout out Ratted Clothing. Hey. Oh, big shout out Ratted. Word, word. Brap, 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 brap. Definitely. And now... We extra must. Word. Extra deuce. Extra deuce. Ourselves. Word. <laughs> and it is. <laughs> Huzzah. Huzzah. <laughs> <laughs> Flaka Zulu, aka Nicodemus, aka Pablo Escovich, aka William Named, aka. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You smooth it in. I like that. <laughs> word. Yeah, yeah. I like that one. Word, word. Aka. No more aka. Stop the violence. <laughs> Bam. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Yeah, you were you in there now. Yeah. 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 You're part of the flow. Good. Signing off. Mm. Jumbie, oh. aka the vigilante, the aka the six four. Oh. Hey. <laughs> the physics studies group classmate. Hey, hey. hey I like it. Yo. I like it. Word. Respect. True. Respect. And you know it's your boy Black Dynamite, aka I seen Black, aka Wade Bixby, aka. Holy but Carroaches, a.k.a. Holy. Shabby Ranks. Blah, blah. Always shabby. A.k.a. Swiss Army nigga. Swiss Army nigga. In a different old Swiss Army nigga. Swiss Army nigga. Swiss Army nigga. Hold the last note. <laughs> <laughs> and it's your boy, Dramatic, a.k.a. Black Galifianakis, a.k.a. Lyle Pat Trover, a.k.a. Wade Chappelle, a.k.a. Wavy McGrady, a.k.a. Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. And I'll see y'all say next week. Say what you need to say. <laughs> say what you need to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.